Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we wanted to do a little product review for you guys. We're gonna talk specifically about the Intel i9 12900K processor. Although this is kind of also applicable to the 13900K as well as the new uh, 14900K. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. Before we get started with the video, if you guys are interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, Check out Indigo Software. We'll put the links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. So the reason we're talking about the 12900K is first of all, it's in this computer right here that we built for the channel, but it's also kind of known to be Intel's truly innovative high-end CPU in a long time. Now on paper, spec-wise, these Intel i9 processors are beating the Apple Silicon chips, but they are also widely regarded as pretty much the best you can get. Now some of the pros are that it has outright benchmark wins across many different runs. The ZR90 platform comes with DDR5 support, and that's uh, depending on the motherboard. It's also priced pretty aggressively compared to AMD and it has numerous overclocking features. Now, some of the cons might be that it requires a new motherboard. It's a relatively high-end cost of adoption for peak performance, and that's pretty much it for the cons. Now, Intel has been pretty consistent since this 12th generation release. The new 14900K has a launch price of around $580, and this is also where the 12th generation processor was, although now you can pick up a 12900K for closer to $300. If you're considering between the 12 and the 13 and the 14, uh, we're talking about you know small but respectable jumps in performance. And so it's kind of just a situation where you might wanna research you know, what specific needs do you have and kind of go from there. Now, another thing to consider when it comes to the i9 processor is that they're kind of made for workstations. You're never really gonna be using more than seven or eight cores when you're gaming. Although I will say the performance in terms of video editing for me with uh, 422, you know, 12 bit raw, uh, ProRes raw footage in 4K has been buttery smooth with literally zero buffering. And so that to me is very impressive and very much worth it. I've also tested XAVC-S, uh, which is another uh, Sony codec. And I've tested that in 4K, 422, 10 bit. Again, flawless performance. It's an absolute monster and has no problem with that footage whatsoever. We have this paired with a 4070 Ti. And so far this computer has been able to handle pretty much everything I've thrown at it between a few uh, very power hungry games, as well as utilizing uh, several virtual machines through virtualization at once. And so really I have nothing bad to say about the processor. If you're looking for kind of best bang for your buck, the 12900K is great. The uh, i7 13700K, um, probably a little bit more bang for your buck now that it's released. And then I would definitely also check out some of the 14th generation uh, chips that just came out. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions, drop those in the comment section below, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links in the description box below. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.